Young Marble Giants. So if you want for preparing this video, I actually haven't listened to them for a long long time. And I have always loved them and it's kind of great to pick them up again. Uh, so Young Marble Giants were post-punk band formed in 1978 in Cardiff, Welsh. I remember I got to know Young Marble Giants from someone I randomly encountered on the streets and he said, you should check out Young Marble Giants. They are like the combination of Joy Division, Joy Division and The Excess. So then I went to check out Young Marble Giants and thought their music is really cool and I've been kind of and I've been a fan of them ever since. And actually his his description about Young Marble Giants is really accurate. The kind of sparse minimalistic instrumentation of The Excess and the code and the code not to know post-punk of Joy Division. So Young Marble Giants are the kind of like a cult essential band. They have only released one studio album, uh, which is called Colossal Use in 1980. Um, 1980, which is the same year as Joy Division's Closer. This album, Colossal Use, was, was ahead of their time. It's consciously anti-rock, anti-traditional song, song structure. No drums, no chorus, barely any melodies. It's like appreciating a minimalistic painting. Part of the appeal like lays in the half emptiness. The female vocalist Alison Staten's ingenuous voice adds human touch to the cold industrial in instrumentation. Young Marvel Giants because of Kurt Cobain. Uh, so Kurt Cobain was a, big, was a big fan of Young Marvel Giants and claimed to be influenced by them. He listed Colossal Use among his top 50 albums of all time. Okay, so recommended songs of Young Marvel Giants. N-I-T-A, uh, Credit in the Straight World, Final Day, 